Well, welcome to Tuesday. Here's your host, Yusuf. He's the one talking right now. He's really good at um, and travel pleasant. Yeah, and projecting his voice and sounding like me. I mean, Aaron. <laughs> um, what I, Yusuf, am doing today is uh, going through our magic box and making it look pretty by putting it under this table and in these boxes. What Aaron is doing today is uh, recording car chop life and waiting for Kevin to get in so they can go over some Amazon stuff. Now, it's not here yet, but we have some birds outside. They have a bird's eye view of the place. What's Baker doing? He's talking to this guy. Probably looking at Pokemon's cards. Pokemon cards are just the worst. I mean, no offense to anyone who likes Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, they're not the worst. They're just cards. They're just. The worst cards. Maybe. I don't know. They're better than Yu Gi Oh cards. No offense to anyone who likes Yu Gi Oh. Okay. We have some amount of Pokemon balk, though. Yeah. Those are all boxes with one thousand three hundred and thirty-three Pokemon balk in them. Four, three, so three, three, four, boxes full of thousand cards. Tell them everyone out of ten, I'll pass up four first four edition Charizard. Four, four, yeah. four, yeah. All of them four, 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 have one first edition Charizard on them from the base set, obviously. Yep, so there's one per box, and there's uh, uh, some amount of boxes. So, there you go. We're just gonna throw them away. Better yet. Okay, I figured out what we can do with these bulk boxes. Okay. We put a Force of Well in each single one of them, right? Yeah. Every, like, one of the big boxes right here. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, we put like a forceful, maybe something better. I like don't know, a something crazy, something people can't pass up. Two hundred dollar card, Charm of Blades. Black Lotus. Black Lotus. Okay. Everyone. Uh, <laughs> well, whatever we put in there, we give put them in the six thousand count box, and we sell the six thousand count boxes. In order, you have one minute to find the the card that you're looking for, the 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 expensive card. All right. In store. If you don't, we remove the card and send you on your way with the box. Okay. If you find the card, you take the card and the box. Alright. Perfect. This is good. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Maybe. How do you guys like that contest? It Tell sounds... us in the comments. Because <laughs> we read all the comments, don't we? Based off his reaction, we don't. I mean, do. We do. We definitely do. And Mr. James is here editing videos. He's very small right now. So, you will be seeing this video between now and... 10 minutes after it finishes recording. Next week. Could be any time now. Um, I haven't seen him come in yet, so... It might take a while. So that trash bag means that I was cleaning, but then I just gave up. So, there's that. What's all those cards? What are they doing? Oh, they're gonna go on something else. Oh, okay. Alright, now I have to find what it is that they're gonna go on. Probably a box. Yeah, probably. Well, this is an average Tuesday. We have our Pokemon League over there in the corner. You have exactly the They're doing stuff. We have some customers. They're also doing things. He's waving. I don't know his name, but I'm sure he has one. His name's Devin. He does things. What do you do? Just bought a box. Got a Nissa. Oh, man. It's awesome. So he bought a box and got a Nissa. Of Origins? Origins. All right, he bought a box of Origins. I got a Nissa, and then uh, 
See, Brian over there is helping customers. Look at that. Looks like they're buying Pokemon cards. That's our Pokemon case, so that's how I know. He stopped working. Well, I'm still working. So he's almost fired. <laughs> um, Alright, so. Here we go. Doing stuff. Look at that cat. That's a cat. He has no what he's what he's doing or how he got there. How's the ball going? Great. <laughs> really just steamrolling along. Just gotta push through it. <laughs> I agree. Yep. This one's missing a like a. a Divider. Sure is. Must have ran out. Dividers are hard to come by. I've never seen one. Yep. With this great depression going on and everything, it's hard to find dividers. Man, that almost worked. It worked. You did it. I'm You're a divider. I'm a smart guy. Yep. So, anything new going on in the card shop? In the what? In the card shop. Here? Yeah, this place. I don't know. We have forcible symbols now, but we've already shown that in the video, I think. Anything new going on over there? Uh oh. We're throwing away all the Pokemon balls. Oh, are we? Just throwing it away? But well, there's a first edition Charizard in every box. That's guaranteed. Yeah, That's we, guaranteed. Are, we already mentioned that. Yeah, I mean, we picked up a bunch of bulk. People don't look through their cards. Yeah, and we just found 50 first edition Charizards. I found a secret rare bulk, which feels really weird because they're all gold bordered, so you'd think it would like stick out like a sore thumb. Apparently didn't. I believe it. It wasn't a good one, though. Maybe yeah. they're just like 100%. Yeah, maybe he just knew. This is just garbage. <laughs> Those are our boxes. That's where we keep them, up there. You're welcome for this. Yep, this is fun. Alright, goodbye. So, you just have finished cleaning up, so now we have a floor. It looks a lot better. He did a good job. Our Pokemon bulk. We have uh, roughly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 50,000 bulk. Pokemon Lake's still here. They have more people now. We have a person here for standard. Are you here for standard? Hey guys, probably here for standard. So we have two people here for standard. Are you here for standard? All right. That guy's definitely here for standard. You can just tell. Those guys are here for Pokemon. There's a backpack here. It's probably here for standard. There's two people playing over there. You can tell by the play mat and dice. So, yep, very exciting here. Today is still Tuesday. My phone is dead. We have some boxes. Those are um, those are boxes. People put things in them. Well, as you can see, there's a lot going on here, especially back here, with uh, nothing going on. 
We had uh, other people here, but they uh, they decided to go get food. And by other people here, I mean I had more employees here. And then they went to go get food. And they left me here all alone, all by myself, to help all these people. And so far, I had to help three people. And I was sad. But I got it done because I'm tough. Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm pretty excited because pretty soon Baker and Seth is going to help me make a force well deck. And here are some extra cards from the shop. And Baker's going to bring some cards in for me too. And I'm really excited because I want a red aggro deck. Oh, yeah. Can you use that term for force of will? Red aggro? Aggro? Or, aggro? I guess. I think oh, that's actually. a pretty generic term for um, just card games because it means, you know, think, aggression. But right? I don't know where the word came from. Every like most words come from something, right? Like a card that it used to be, or not aggro. Like it's just aggression. I could be wrong though, but yeah, I want an aggressive, aggressive something deck. Something to look up. Let us know, YouTube. What yes. does aggro mean, and where did it come from? Totally. <laughs> but I definitely want a red aggro deck if that is the proper way of putting it. And I really like this card because there's a wolf. And if you guys remember earlier, card shop life, I wanted um, just a wolf magic deck that you couldn't properly play, but I just like wolves. But look, there's a wolf in this card. Woo! Oh, that's zooming in on her boobs. I mean to zoom in on this wolf thing. So, woo, she's pretty gnarly too. So, yeah, this is a cool card. Yay! This is Wednesdays, and you can tell because no one's here, because our Wednesdays are kind of slow, and I'm singing about it to make it more interesting. But, um, yeah, not much going on. I'm trying to film things, but, um, force the will. We look at all that force of will stuff. I remember when I first got I knew, you We're talking knew about force of will. Were, so you should have thought about that before the day of the thing. It shouldn't have been a thing where Southern Bobby yeah, started shipping will. things and then you decided, oh, you know, stop. They should have thought about that a week ago or the week before that. You knew what the pre-orders were. Well, how long ago did we pre-order this stuff? What are we ranting about? Uh, force of will pushing its release date back. Oh, yeah. They how do you feel about that? For a setback of a week, but they waited till the day of the release to do so. Which is bad. That's just not good. That is, well, they not waited until sure the week was, of release, not the day of release. They waited until the week of release. They released. They waited till the day the stuff was going to be being shipped. Shipped. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because good. they're not allowed to sell it anyway. I, I understand that, but it might have been last week that they changed it. So no, it's not. I actually have read multiple people that have said they literally waited till that day. We're pretty hardcore about this game in here. Yeah, so. it's certain distribution channels. Yeah, told <laughs> yeah. They would we talk about it a lot. <laughs> I love it. I know, Seth doesn't play Magic that much anymore because yeah, of Force of Will. It's a cooler game. <laughs> it's, it's a cooler game. game. Are we just going to become a Force of Will shop instead of a Magic shop? Yeah, I Absolutely. We've talked about this for a while. Oh, awesome. Seth, are we really a Magic store? Huh? Are we really a Magic store? Yeah. Wait, are you Seth? Seth? Are you Seth? I am Seth. Okay. How okay. you doing, Seth? I'm Seth. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Friendship <laughs> was just formed. I don't know, we seem to be doing Force of Will lately, so... It's just oh. like what we like, I guess. It's just like a change of pace. Mm -hmm. Like I've been playing Pokemon for three years. And it's just, I don't know. It's just gotten kind of stale. It it's, just like, it's, it's a very fresh game. game. Yeah. So do you play Magic at all? I used to. Like four or five years ago. Because they share the first name. Because this game is so similar to Magic. <laughs> oh yeah. That's why I was like, I was able to pick up on it, like understand the rules. Wait, I'm playing this. I've been here. And they're bonding too. And then I played off. Uh, I'm the only one not bonding, you guys. So long. Yeah. Uh, so Seth signed cards wrong, and he feels really <laughs> terrible about it. I'm not the only person who signed the cards wrong. But you're the one who pointed it out, so that's why I'm filming <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I should just shut you up. That's what. <laughs> the person asked for us to sign a specific way. I actually didn't even read the letter. I just followed suit where Baker signed. Yeah. So I probably should have read the letter. <sighs> you just happened to get bad luck there. He feels Sorry, so bad. Caleb, though. um, Aww. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this one way or the But other. you signed with permanent marker. I'm gonna fix it. Okay. Just let you think that. You'll never know. What year is that day of judgment? What year is it? Seth feels so, so bad. He's still like talking about how bad he feels. Uh, hey, yeah, well, um, it's okay. I'm gonna write an apology. Explaining he wants to write an apology letter. That I didn't. Didn't know that it said on the card side. Hey Caleb, if you're there. I tried not to sign on the two texts. What actually happened here is if you notice, I didn't sign on the text of cards because I don't like when that happens. And then with this one, I realized I couldn't do that in the same way that I had been signing. So I decided to read the letter to see what it said. Mm -hmm. And then I realized it said to sign it on the card art side. 
So that's what I did with these next two. You try to redeem yourself. Yeah, so if there's a problem or anything, just let us know. If not, um, sorry about that, and hope you still enjoy the signed cards. Well, at least you made card shop life interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's Seth's um, apology to Mr. Caleb. Do you feel better? Not really. Uh, Not until he says it's okay. Oh, uh, okay, Caleb. You're gonna have to let us know if it's okay now. How could you, say that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be okay. I'm sure he'll love us, right? Right? Hopefully. <laughs> oh man. So Brock brought this uh, thing, and it looks pretty cool. What is that? This is a Rubik snake. I have it because it's like, you know, stress thing, I can just kind of fidget with it. But, uh, Does it help you think? <laughs> um, yeah, it's like an anxiety thing. This must be a forcible day because this guy is also acquiring about forcible and getting a deck. He wants a deck. Force of will. Yeah. I've never so even seen or heard of that before. I've never seen one of these. Uh, I've never seen one. Let's see if I can slide that quick with the camera on me. I got you. That's so cool. Boy. Uh, this is too much footage. Too much footage? There's never too much footage of car shop life. <laughs> according to people. Well, people. No. Here, if you want me to wait until you're done, I can just go to Josh. There's Josh. He's behind yeah, the counter now. I don't know why. What's up? Behind the counter? Yep. I got permission by the man. By the man. I feel like everyone has permission by the man. <laughs> if you can't tackle me to get me out of here, I have permission. Do you force on you? What's that? Oh, I don't have a deck yet. I'm going to build a forcible deck, so... I need, I'm probably going to have a deck by Saturday. What are you trying to play? That I want to play a red aggro deck. Mono red? You need to play king. I, I need to? Yeah. Here, wait, let me flash back to Brock real fast. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. That looks pretty sweet. Yeah. It's like a cute little shot. Well, thanks for showing us that. Oh, I feel like this person needs my help. Do you need my help? Do you need something? <laughs> Okay, I, I guess I have to do my job. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to do that. Oh. So, no. I need to learn. I'm also trying to um, get some credit for these. Okay, uh, this is a good learning experience. I'm going to turn off the camera now. Yusuf here. Uh, closing shop by myself for the first time. Act pretty excellent. Gonna turn off the light here. And lock it up after a successful modern tournament. Ten people showed up. Hopefully more people show up in the future. Remember, every Wednesday, modern. Other than that, I don't know. It's been good. Hope to see you guys here in the near future. Peace out from Deerims.